Hello, welcome to another Crafty at Home Cafe. I'm Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian for Pflugerville Public Library, and I want to bring you this summer edition of Crafty at Home Cafe. If you were one of the 30 people who registered, hopefully you have picked up your bag of supplies for this craft, um, and you can follow along to this video. If not, if you weren't one of those 30 people or you're a little farther away from us, um, you may be able to find these supplies uh, nearby or something very close to them and you can do this craft with us as well. We'd love to see your results. Okay, the supplies we've provided for this one, um, for this fairy garden, you'll want um, a tray of some nature. We've got these little wooden trays here um, to give you a really kind of solid base to work with. Um, we have some sand. This is just some uh, sandbox sand that we picked up at a local hardware store. If you've got some fancier sand, you can definitely do that. Um, and then you want your fairy garden pieces. We've got a little house in each one. And each of these pieces we actually picked up at uh, our local Dollar Tree. Um, the bag kit, kit bag is also going to include a small bag that has this fun little faux moss ball um, that you can kind of use to decorate your space and four little figurines. And the final bag in your kit supply kit is going to be a bag of decorative rocks. Um, you can also add to this with anything you might find around the house. Um, I've got this fun little glass that I actually mod podged a um, piece of scrapbooking paper underneath there so it's fun. And um, we've got some other faux flowers around that I may use um, in my decoration. And Easter egg for those people who are picking up supplies from the library, 10 of the bags, a random 10 bags, will also include an extra bag that has three additional figurine pieces in it. So the first thing I want to do is lay down my layer of sand um, in order to begin to create my base. So I'm just going to pour my sand right in the bottom here. Um, this is about eight ounces of sand that we've provided. So you may decide you want a little less or a little more. Um, I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of push it down into the corners of my box. I think this time I want a fairly level piece and I chose this sand a little bit more because than the decorative sand and um, because I felt it was a little bit easier to work with so now I'm going to just decide where I want my little fairy house and I'm going to just really push it into the sand push even sand around it so that I know it's in there pretty solid Something like this also reminds me of like a Zen garden if I had a tiny rake, but there wasn't any that I could find to uh, provide to folks. And so now it's up to us what we want to do for the next step. Do I want to start with my figurines or my decorative rocks? I think I'm going to go decorative rocks first. And um, since I have this fun one, that's something um, that I had that was kind of personal. I'm going to make sure that one goes in there right next to the house. Some of these are just the glass um, decorative rocks from Dollar Tree. Also, if you've got some aquarium rocks around, something like that might be fun to make a border around or even some stepping stones up to the house. Like a little walkway. Um, and you, of course, don't have to use everything that is in the bag of supplies. You guys are going to be creative yourselves and decide where you want everything to be. I kind of make myself a little outer edge with my white stones here. And get them down there in the sand some so that I know they're going to stay. I'm going to have these two, maybe one black one in this corner over here. And I want to try putting in a little full succulent there, kind of like a tree. And now I'll get into my bag of figurines. This one happens to have a lamppost with a little bird on it. 
um, a bunny, a chair, and then a fun little gnome guy with a watering can. I think I want to put him over here by the faux plants. And I do have this big moss ball. I took him in here too, actually. Let's make him a little bush on this side. And then my little gnomey guy there. Let's see. I've uh, got a chair. Maybe he likes to sit over here in the corner next to his little decorative chair with his bunny friend. Uh, I think the lamp post should go at the top of the walk for when friends finally can come over and visit again. And let's see. Maybe there? Maybe no. Uh, and if this were one of the bags that had the extra pieces, I've got a little welcome sign here. I think I'd put that right next to the door. Welcome. And a little toadstool. I think the toadstool I'll put back here in the corner. So you see, this is something that you can find some supplies around. Um, you can create, I've seen these really fun ones out of broken terracotta pots or other um, teacup fairy gardens. Um, this is definitely something I had planned for our in-person crafty cafe and we are very excited to be able to bring you this virtually as well as provide some supplies um, to local folks who might sign up. Um, definitely take a look at our website calendar for more fun summer events coming up. So we've got all of our fairy garden pieces in. I wanted to show you guys from kind of the front angle um, how the fairy garden looks. Oh, and of course things are going to fall over occasionally, but the great part is you can just put them right back up. There's my little lamp post ready to go. And we'd love to see yours. Happy crafting!